Yeah, you gotta change the way you work All right, Shalom, you got the Hebrew Israelites from the Indianapolis camp of the Great Millstone. We're here to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, 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 Double honors to the apostles and members of the Great Millstone who rule well and teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and I follow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth that be like it to the speckled bird, also known as the Israelite foreigners, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. To you, we say Shalom. 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 All right, let's get right into it. This is Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, the hour, and the time, that now it is a high time to awake out of sleep. And, and when you go to the knowing the time, a lot of you Negroes, know, Latinos, and Native Americans don't know what's happening. All right, y'all not, not follow the prophecies, y'all not follow the scriptures. Y'all don't know what's going on. You know, you want this place to continue just like just like he do, man. Exactly. All right, y'all 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 like y'all y'all looking for, for 2030. And, and looking looking for this place to continue to keep going on, man. <laughs> hey, it, what's, what's crazy is if if you live about till the dead man's are really paying attention, every time you turn on this goddamn idiot box, it talks about World War Three. Yep. Mm -hmm. Every time you get on TV YouTube or your TikToks. You, you, you see what wars and rumors of wars, man. Nah, not everywhere. Not, and not just that, hey, you see a, a, a high reference of, of pestilence, man. Also, man, I, you know, kind of, I was just looking at the uh, Chicago news, man. They they want to start back mandating masks. Yeah, yeah. People wear masks, man. Even, they say, even though it's hot and high risk, but to practice it would be better, man. That's just to start you get your mad program to do it. Precept. Yep. Yeah, right. that's right. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. And the only, only people who know the times right now is the man of the Lord. That's right. right. <coughs> so the Lord set us up to be watchmen, man. Yeah. All right, so what, what are we doing? We're, we're watching the times, we're lining them up and filtering them to the scripture. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Go ahead, Moses. All right. This is the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter 9, beginning in verse 1. It reads mm -hmm. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, verse 2, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, that's how, that's how you measure the times. You look at the prophecies that was written in the scriptures, and you see what type of time are we in now. Precept. Right. So you see, you see, you know, the certain prophecies that are happening, you understand that what? The Lord is coming back. All right? That's right. That's what, what certain men sees uh, 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 um, what a uh, Pestilence coming, we see a race wars coming, you know. They 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 even making movies about it to show you how 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 how, how the tension is even in the air. Sure. You know? So so even the grand even the, the random uh, uh average day person can see, yeah, it's it's an unease and, and, and it's like a chill, you know. People don't want to talk about it, but it's, it's there, you know. It's like uh, the elephant in the room almost. Yeah, we uh, go to the movie we go to the movie uh what's the movie that everybody talked about? That's the yeah. Yeah. When you go into it, uh the you got uh, they did an interview with uh, Barack. You know, he, Barack Obama actually produced this movie. Yep. All right, and he said he would he, he took things from the book and also things from his presidency to actually put the movie together. But they, what, what a lot of people don't know is when he started to film that movie, he started to make him a bunker. See, a lot of you think <laughs> that the bunkers is gonna save y'all, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, the bunkers not gonna save y'all. Nothing. Hey, hey, you, hey, nothing gonna. You're not gonna be escaping how much of y'all shots rap. Right. That's right. All right. Uh -huh. I just wanted to put that out there. You know, he he, he produced the movie and say, you know, he took things from his presidency to actually fit, put the movie together. Mm -hmm. and then you look up him and his wife built him a, a whatever. How many? You have a million dollar bunkers, man. Mm -hmm. And that, that's another thing too. You you want to think that you know something? Y'all want to build all these bunkers? Think you're gonna have a way of escape? There is no way of escape from the Lord, man. Sorry, I got a uh, quick copy just to back it up that quick on that. When I get back, this is uh, the book of Deuteronomy 32 and 29. <laughs> and it says, uh, it reads, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and 
I give, neither is there any that can deliver it out of my hand. So that's, you know, going back to what you said, you know, what they can do, whatever they want to do, uh, there's no escape from what's coming. We talked about that last week in uh, uh, Amos 5 and 18, you know, uh, the day of the Lord is the day of darkness. So I just want to back you up on that. Yeah, yeah. Up. You know what, that, that's another way of measuring the time we're living in, too, because scripture speaking from, you know, Revelation 6 chapter, where these kings, princes, rulers say, let the mountains <coughs> not let the rocks fall upon you. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 16. And and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us mm. and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Which means that's also 315. Yeah. Yep. It's the uh, book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 15. It says, and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains mm. and the mighty men, every bondman and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Which, you know, you're going to, you know, the top elites, kings of the nation, certain celebrities, but well, you got uh, uh, recently what uh, Kim Kardashian, she Mark, trying to build a bunker, Mark Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg yeah. uh, the dude from, uh, who played in Transformers, they all build, you know, these very different bunkers, because not, not, not Mark Wahlberg, but Josh and Will, but pretty much they, they see what's coming. You know, they they know what's coming. This is really, you know, inside prophecy with these various different individuals building bunkers because also they know the wrath of Yahweh about Shemesh Shai is coming. Mm -hmm. but, and, and to back you up, a lot of them, even like for the bunkers, a lot of the elite, like the elites, the actors have been moving overseas and living, mm -hmm. making their habitation mm -hmm. outside of the Americas. They yeah. come here to make their money and then they go back. Oh, yeah. 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 It's like, it's what you see is here. Uh, it says, and the kings of the earth, oh, so like verse 16, and said to the to the mountains and rocks, fall on us mm -hmm. and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For, which, oh, no, which also, you know, they're going to use those bunkers as, you know, a method or a way to hide <coughs> the nuclear structure that Yahweh got to try to hide it from, from the chariots, man. But, hey, scripture say, the Lord say, uh, uh, after a fish were prepared for him, he would send many hunters, especially right. out, of the, out of the mountains, the rocks, so on and so forth. So at the end of the day, it don't matter how deep you build your bunkers. It don't matter, you know, how many bunkers you build across the globe. Your, your, your ultimate, you know, fate is slavery, man. That's so point being, like, you know, if I brought out measured out of time of diligence, this is also another way we can measure the time of diligence. Because with end time prophecy, you would have individuals building bunkers to hide from the Lord. So I'm just trying to... Last one. It says, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? We sit in our bunkers for seven years. We come out of the nuclear fall as with a wet dog. We come <laughs> into the bunks to get you. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, actually read, I actually seen a special um, on uh, TikTok. It, it, it was really, it was like a three, three four part special. It says over 700 millionaires in here in, in the U.S. Mm -hmm. You got 300 some odd people outside of that. They said, what you think is going to happen when, when all hell's breaking loose? Those 300 some odd people are going to run right in the bunkers with you and take over the bunkers, yeah. man. A lot of y'all are not going to be able to make it to the bunkers, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you want the, this billionaire, this nigga, the child nigga, Latinos, man, the American, stop trusting that damn money, man, and come back to the law, fetch your family, so they have no problem with trusting God. Right. 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 The Lord put the spirit to show people like that you ain't gonna be able to escape. You know, even on the movie off the movie twenty twelve, man. Yeah. Everybody got that alert. Everybody didn't make it to that shit. You know, people died, people drowned, bro, smoking their ass. Even the people waiting on yeah, the ticket. They right. They right. said, how much you pay for the ticket? A hundred euros. His ass died. Lord smoked him. He didn't get on there. You know what I'm saying? So there ain't no escape me out about you, I'm shut, man. Yeah, it's Second Peter's three and ten, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, right. mm -hmm. in the in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with the fervent heat. Mm -hmm. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Right. So y'all watch me outside. This is this is uh this is a prophecy that's going to come to pass. You know, for America. All right, y'all watching me outside is gonna uh, 
launch launch nuclear missiles to America. All right, and it says right here, uh, the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right, the earth also and the works there <clears throat> that are therein shall be burnt up. All right, so everything in America is going to be burnt up. All right, verse eleven. Hey, real quick, like you said, you know, the elements. So it's like a science class. So you know, your periodic table, you know, mm -hmm. all elements, man. All right, everything that's around us, including ourselves, are what made up elements, man. Right. 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 Those are all going to be what fuel for the fire, man. Right. 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 Like some certain components, certain metals, they have to be mixed with different types of elements mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. to make them work. Because what they're going to destroy all. It also says, it also says, the thief of the night. The light of them come. Because what does the thief, what does the thief do? The thief ain't going to tell you when he's coming. The thief ain't going to come and go, oh, I'm here. Let, let's go. Let, let me rob you. No, a lot of y'all been caught off guard because what? Y'all not paying attention to the signs. Y'all not following the prophecies. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of you live on that team on there. They're going to be destroyed, man. Yeah. That's usually the knockout punch, too. Mm -hmm. The only thing that you don't see is you get the punch to knock you out. Yeah. Yep. That's right. Come on, come on. <clears throat> Good Good Verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation mm -hmm. and godliness? All right, so knowing that all, you know, knowing that this is going to come to pass, how should you be conducting yourself, you know, in these latter days? All right, you should, you know, try to get right with y'all by Shemel Shai so you can be delivered. All right. And that's only for the Israelites. Yeah. You know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, then obviously we got those that are scattered amongst the other nations that look like the other nations that go back to Israel. You know? That's right. It goes, it goes back to the elect. The elect are the ones who, who are going to be delivered in the battle because they're going to die. That's right. Yeah. I still got more. Mm -hmm. Verse 12, looking looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right? Mm -hmm. So this is the elect. This is what we're looking for. That's all right. right? We're looking That's for, right. you know, this kingdom to fall. All right. So, so Yahweh Bashim El Shai can can rule and you know everything be in righteousness. All right, we're tired of we're, we're tired of the you know the wickedness that's going on, you know around us. All right, we know that this is this is like this is not life. All right, this is this is hell. All that's right, right bro. that's right. It's a face. Yeah, it's um swiftness, mm -hmm. uh, rash, headlong action. Um, undo um, ur urgentness. Mm. All right, and that's to you know, action. To act. Like, you know, we're urgent for y'all about to come. You know, right. come quick, come quickly. All right. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Verse. Our definition. Our eagerness and yes, urgency. Yeah. 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 All our fervor. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This is just fervor. Uh, very hot, glowing, and the definition uh, in reference <laughs> a likening to the sun. That's how hot it is, man. You know, when we outside, you can barely, you know, look at the sun because it's so hot. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's going to be right up on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse, verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Right? Mm -hmm. So we're looking for that new, we're looking for the kingdom of heaven to, you know, uh, <clears throat> be established. All right? Because you saw Edom's kingdom, you know, it's it's all you know wickedness. All right, that's that's all that's being promoted here. All right, but through Yahweh Bashim you know, uh, you know righteousness is going to be established. All right. That's right. <coughs> that's right. Yeah, that was good. I got one real quick. Uh, this is Second Ezra chapter two and verse thirteen. It says, "Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened." The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch, right? So like I said, we we in the spirit of the haste in this thing, man. Right? We, we don't want to be we want to be gone yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So that that's the spirit we ought to be in all the holy conversation. This is how we should be acting. We, we want this place to be over now, man. Because the Lord already has a kingdom prepared for us, man. You know, the say this part of it. We gotta watch. You know, we gotta wait on the Lord. You know, we have to we have to suffer in this thing, man. All right, you know, waiting upon y'all by shot, man. But mm -hmm. You know, like I said, the glory is what when the kingdom is there, man. Right. Like if you pay attention to the days are short, man. You know, yeah. and these, uh, days, these days are, they, it, it 
it looks like we was just we was just coming into we going to the new year in less than two weeks now. Yep. And it feel like we were the beginning of this year for six months. You know, the, 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 that's another prophecy too, because what do you what do you say just speed with the time for the election? Yeah, right? yeah, I actually got that too. Oh, oh, I it's, it's uh Matthew chapter twenty four. I started verse twenty one. It says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Mm-hmm. Now, which is going to you know the time of Jacob's trouble, because when we go to the Jeremiah 30th chapter, it says uh, uh, that, there, that it's a time like no other. So you right. can put together, you know, the plagues of Egypt, you know, add that 70 AD, so on and so forth. You can add up all the, the, the uh, misfortunes, the atrocities mm-hmm. that the Israelites experienced, yep. and it's not going to amount up to what Jacob's trouble is going to be. Now, which we can get like an inkling of, you know, we can imagine the people, you know, limbs flying off, heads flying mm-hmm. off, you know, uh, screaming, you know, women getting gang raped, things of that nature. But no matter what we, you know, what we imagine, you know, Jacob's trouble, you know, is going to be off. You know, Jacob's trouble is going to be just, you know, out of this world because none of us can have, you know, seen what the Lord is bringing. It says, uh, verse 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Hey, we were just talking about this before uh, when the live show started, man. It was, it was just like this place just cannot continue to go on, man. All right, because <clears throat> wickedness is, 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 is exceeding at a high level on the earth right now, man. Sorry. You know, it, Sorry. It, 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 blew, it blew the whole earth, what the scripture says, man. So we, we say, hey, you know the world got to shorten the days, man, so that the elect can be saved, man. Right. But no flesh should be saved. Right. <laughs> this place go on where no flesh be saved. Yeah. All right. What, what what are they doing now? They start to ease ease out to you these celebrities who who who, who are ravishing the same sex. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're easing out to you. Mm-hmm. Women getting ravished. Are uh, they they making it a common thing on you? Because these things are going on strong, man. Yeah. All right. It's all it's all about Esau and his wickedness, man. Mm-hmm. How far he can go, man. Yeah. Right, the Lord set a boundary that he won't be able to. You know, yeah. so we we hasten that he that he that he's at the at the head of that that boundary, man. We get delivered up out of this place, man. Sorry. This place is a wicked nightmare for Israelite men. Yeah, preaching. Yeah. You know, it's gonna get so bad to the point. That's why when we go to Daniel, the chapter says that you know even Michael is gonna have to stand up for the children of Israel. You know, Michael, he's the uh, third in command, pretty much. He's right behind you, Howard Shai. You mm-hmm. know, so that's that's just you know an inkling, you know. But that's that's kind of you know giving you perspective of you know how bad it's gonna be the times we're coming into. Yeah, because right now the time we right now the time we should cherish it. You know what I'm saying? Brothers been getting getting together to do video, you know, being able to go out on the highways and byways. The Lord gonna stop all of this soon, man. Sorry. All right, it's, 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 it's gonna come in like a flood, man. Mm-hmm. The Lord gonna lift up a standard. Sorry. All right, so we have to put on as the veteran elect that, that we be a part of that standard that the Lord fights for, man. Uh, all right. That's it. Pass on. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 18. <clears throat> it says, Warn to you the desire of the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness in my life. Right, so what end is it for you, man? Because, hey, <clears throat> some of you are really doing the work of your about Shemiah Why are you going to have all these people say when they're waiting on the Lord to return? They're not serving the Lord, man. They're serving their own bellies. Are, uh, they're serving their love with the pastor. All type of craziness is going on right now, man. Yeah. All right. No, seriously, bro. All type of wickedness is going on right now. I just unfollowed this brother yesterday, man. Uh, the, 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 the Pope is allowing yep. him to bless yep. uh, same-gender marriages now. Yep. All right. And this supposed to, this supposed to be the, the highest seat of religion on the earth. You know, that's how you know it's not right. That's how you know it's not a Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, man. The Lord said he changed him not. Mm-hmm. All right? So the Lord, the Lord not dealing with that, man, on no levels, man. That's right. Not you know? that long ago, he, uh, he uh, gave, you know, the transmission people, you know, quote-unquote godparent status. You know, and, and when you look into godparent mm-hmm. status, it's pretty much, you know, somebody who can like, bring up a child, you know, like, in the way of the scripture, pretty much. Now, we understand with transmission people, you know, as, as "Quote unquote," godparents, they they not you know you know bringing up children you know you know in the way they should go, you know, sons in the way that they should go. Because scripture say, 
any any individual who's wounded in his privy member shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Sorry, con- con- so also, we know that they've been teaching things contrary to the scripture. Well, they are contrary to the scripture. Yeah. Already. And in fact, uh, most, of, most of these people have, have, have had some type of. Uh, what's the best way to say it? it, it like, most of these people were touched inappropriately as young as young kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, so, making them God, it's just all a part of being wicked, man. This is all a part of Esau's plan. All right? And then you niggas, and you like to eat up some Native Americans, man. Y'all join them right hand in hand with it. I'm not see on the pros be No, this is what the Lord said, man. You know? That's what the Lord It says, and if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. All right? So that's, no matter where you people try to flee, try to get away from your high shot, it's not going to work. All right, it's not going to be that epic thing that Esau puts in movies where at the end he comes out triumphant all the time. No, right. you know that's the other way. All right, wherever you flee, the Lord is going to catch you, man. All right, it, it, the scripture says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Mm-hmm. All right, so once the Lord, once you fall into the Lord's hands, He's going to get you, man. Right. Uh, Papa, can I real quick? quick Go ahead, brother. Uh, Isaiah thirteen and thirteen. It says, "Therefore, I will shake the heavens." And the earth shall remove out of her place mm-hmm. in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. This is the point of uh, verse 14. Mm-hmm. And it shall be as the chase roe. Mm-hmm. Now, roe is the deer. Mm-hmm. Right? So it said, it was making a comparison. That day <coughs> is the chase roe. Like when a, when a hunter hunting a deer, mm-hmm. and that deer oh. scared out of his mind, he know he's being hunted. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. only because, you know, you're supposed to hunt. Supposed to catch it off guard, so right. it's for the meat, it will taste yeah, it. Exactly. But if it knows it's getting hunted, it's scared, it's running for its life, and it's only a matter of time. And then it says, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. Mm-hmm. Now, sheep are prey animals. Right. They can't exist without a shepherd. Right. So a sheep without a shepherd is, is, is a sitting duck. That's right. So yeah. it's basically saying the day of the Lord, is, that's and that's how the day of the Lord is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, verse 20, back in Amos 5 and 20. Then shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it. Because right? that wisdom is going to be gone out of the earth too. Yep. <coughs> right? As I said, people think it's a game. You know, people laugh at us. You know, you know we, we, we accept that, man. They bring it on. Mm-hmm. And because the Lord said it's going to be a time when you're going to weep. Yep. All right? And you're going to be looking for the man of the Lord. You're not going to be out there to be found, man. Sorry. All right? That's why the opening scripture was so beautiful. Awake out of our sleep, for now is our salvation. Here the movie. Oh, sorry. I mean, I can read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you got to get a couple words out there too. Yep. Uh, this is back to Romans thirteen and eleven. It says, "And that knowing the time, <clears throat> that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe." Right. Yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna grab that word. Uh, I'm gonna grab that word high time uh, and uh somebody grab the word sleep. Yeah. I got sleep. Uh, okay, let me read high time. Uh, high time in the Greek is uh let me see. High time aura, right? A certain definite time or season fixed by natural law in return to which the year. It says any definite time, point in time, moment, a twelfth part of the daytime, an hour, the twelve hours of the day are reckoned from the rising to the setting of the sun. So basically, we at that point in time where it's like, uh, it's crucial. We at that pivotal. We at that pivotal point. We at that uh the, the climax, so to speak, you know, the changing of the tide, if you will. So it's like you see everything that's going on on the earth, like the brother brought out the uh, second earth is nine. Says when you see this and you see that, then you shall know that this is when the most high shall begin to visit the world that he made. That's right. God. Even, in, even in the book of Matthew, he said, uh, You should hear wars, rumors of war, pestilence. Yep. He said, you know, But this is just the beginning. Yeah, the beginning of the sorrow. sorrow, sorrow, sorrow yeah. That's right. You know, uh, I remember we uh, met in, in LT. This is Romans 13 and 11 in, in LT. This is all the more urgent for you to know how late it is. Time is running out. Mm-hmm. Wake up for our salvation is nearer now 
than when we first believed. So that's that's back on the brother, you know, when he was going to those words. Yeah. That, you know, it's beautiful about that. It says when we first believed, because Jake when he first came to the truth, he thought the Lord was coming back the next day. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, right. seriously. Right. Right. Like, you had that night, when we first got the right. truth, you was saying, you, you like, the Lord, the Lord going to be here next week, bro. Yeah. Hey, you, yeah. you call the family members, bro. Hey, hey we've been living wrong all this time. Yeah. Like, the Lord, hey, you tell Esau you're going to be destroyed. You cuss about the heathen nation. You yeah. on fire. Yeah. This is Christmas. Yeah. No, this is bro. This is serious, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. We laughing, but this is real, though. Yeah. You, you you just knew the Lord was going to come right back, man. You, you man, I, I do a lot of suffering. You just knew the Lord was just right there around the corner. Yep. You know? But it says that when we first believed, so back when you was on fire like that, the Lord is even closer to today than you. He was the day you started on fire. Uh, sorry. You be out of play. No, 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 no. Yeah, I got it in the blue letter and the NMR. Awesome. Okay. So when you go into uh, sleep, it says the Greek word there is hypnos, and the only thing there is sleep. Mm-mm, go down to the stones. Strong. Yeah. Can somebody get that word torpor? It says uh, from an obsolete primary, perhaps akin to G two fifty nine. Says through the idea of of subsilience. Subsilience, which keep going. It says a uh, sleep, uh, figuratively spiritual torpor. Yes, yeah, spiritual torpor. Now, when you look up that word torpor, it's a state of physical or mental inactivity, mm. lethargy. So a lot of people are spiritually inactive. Now is the time to wake up out of spiritual inactivity. Sorry. Because Pretty everything sick. that's happening and that's going on is spiritual. So you gotta, these things are uh, spiritually discerned. Like mm-hmm. that, that scripture, uh, as the, the, the scripture says in Corinthians, it says the spiritual man judges all things, but they are spiritually discerned. Yeah. So you gotta open up your, what they call it, your third eye, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. Right? Because a lot of people looking at these things happening in the flesh, and they and they got that uh that idea of, oh it's gonna bounce back right. or it's gonna yeah. come back. But when you look at it in the spirit, it's like oh no this shit is this gonna get worse. This is gonna get worse. Yeah. So so like the uh, the brother brought off the, the Peter three and eight, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons shall we be in our holy conversation right. with God? That word conversation means conduct. So basically like. It's high time to wake out of sleep, and it's high time I need to be getting right. That's right. I need to be, uh, uh, what's that, uh, in the apocrypha, it says, uh, was it as if your minds would go off the straight? <laughs> I don't know if that's the apocrypha, but yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so. It's right. it's even back you up on the uh, point where you made that said, uh, oh, there's a lot of people are looking at it as carnal, saying, oh, it's gonna bounce back. That's actually a defense mechanism that the mind does. Um, um, anytime that the, uh, Anytime that you basically suffer, your mind already starts to think of things to comfort itself. So oh, basically, yeah. you lose your you lose your car. You always think about, well, maybe I can catch a ride with somebody. You know, that's basically just basically ease the mind. Yeah, you know, yeah. without it, without <coughs> it, it helps itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. They know if you just gotta basically take the blunt of that, it's gonna it's gonna hurt. You know, yeah. so of course the body is looking up ways to trying to heal itself. So try your mind your mind already um, automatically starts to think of. Other alternative ways, to, uh, like I said, if you lose your car, you lose your job, you go, like, oh, well, I got some savings, I can just hurry to find another one, I got the eating. You know, your, your mind already automatically starts to kind of try to comfort itself already instead of just like, no, I need to, this is, just, you know, it's right. going to hit. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing yeah. you can do about it, you know? That's why, that's why uh, great despair is coming to the earth. Because yep. right. the word despair means without hope. Because mm-hmm. uh-huh. when you read uh, uh, Ezra, it says, at the same time, men show hope, but nothing attained. So right. they still like look. Go back to going way. If I just do this, if yeah. I just do that. If I, uh, you know, they gonna be uh, like 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 you said, they gonna be trying to, they mind gonna be trying to make it make it make sense. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna trying, read this, trying to soften that blow. Almost. Trying to soften yeah. that blow. I'm gonna read this real quick because uh, you you said it. Wisdom of Solomon seventeen and twelve. It says, "For fear is nothing else but a betraying of the succors mm-hmm. which reason offers." So basically, secure means comfort. Basically, mm-hmm. so the the comfort that uh, your your mental reasoning give you, all right, that's about to be done away with. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why the, that's why the scripture says, uh, "Men's hearts fell in them, they yeah. mind fell in them." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 remember, um, uh, Lion King, Zazu. What they do? What they do? Five more, five was fucked up. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, all his shit was in Mufasa. Yeah. You're like, oh shit! Yeah. He, he start smacking, 
yeah. But he was distraught though. Right, because of course fear is 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 so many different ways of fear. Yep. And what you was going into is, is that that you know that bit, it's just like okay, with all hell break loose, a lot of people their mind frame is gonna change because of what? Because of how that protects from each other. Yeah. So that's gonna be a block that's a block of fear. Yeah. Uh uh being scared out of your mind is another way of being in fear. You know, and then what the brother was going to do. Petrified. Petrified. Right. Yeah. So you know you have so many different ways of fear. But just think about it. All these things are gonna be happening at one time. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? All those fears are gonna be hitting at one time. Mm-hmm. If you got some protection from Yahweh Shah, you can see if you, you know when you go into the scriptures, you know, but you know, it's a lot deeper than what you know a lot of people think it is, man. They think it's just all they talk about it's gonna be hell, gonna break loose, it's gonna be all kinds of things on earth. When all hell break loose, you're gonna be scared out of your damn mind. That's why the price gonna melt like the brother was going to. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what he was explaining in Genesis 5 and 18. Yep. The blood should be to the horse. Yeah. Somebody uh look up the word process, it should be in the regular Google yeah. translation. Um this is uh second Ezra chapter eight, it's like it's second Ezra chapter three and verse eight. It says in every it says in every people walk after their own will mm-hmm. and did wonderful things before thee and despise thy commandments. And again, in process of time, thou broughtest the blood upon upon those that dwell in the world and destroyed them. And now somebody read the word process? A process is a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. Right. So the Lord, so back then when the Lord sent the flood, he said he sent a process, a particular set of uh, events that had to happen before what? It said and destroyed them. You know, so right all the way until the water came in and destroyed it, it was the same <coughs> as the process happened. The same, same well, way we have now. You know, we got certain prophecies that's going to happen before the actual missiles come to from the sky. It's going, to serve, uh, it's going to be a certain process of time, certain events that's going to happen that we have to look forward to. And when we see that, we go, oh, shit, you know, it's right around the corner. It's right, it's right there. You know, we have to, we have, like the brothers was going into that, but we have to have that spiritual eye to see that and they, they actually discern, like, hey, listen, this is why the uh, scriptures always talk about being prudent. Man. The word prudency goes back into, it says, um, a man that sit before, uh, like, uh, a man that foreseeth the time and prepares himself. Sure. All right. So sure. by us knowing that what the time is coming, by us knowing that what a hell is gonna uh, uh, come upon upon this, uh, upon this uh, world that we see, upon what uh, uh, our children, our, our family, you know, us. Well, we gotta prepare ourselves. And what the scripture says, man, kiss the sun, we see the angry man. Right, you right. know, the Lord has a, a nice side, and he has a, uh, he has a, a, a mean side. Mm-hmm. You know, just like you, you got hey, well, what the what, uh, person always saying, man, you don't want you don't want to see me on my bad side. You know, so you, you want to be on the Lord's good side when he comes back, man. Right, right. You know, because he's going to be doing a lot of killing. And like Pastor Todd said uh, about a year ago, he said, man, he's going to do so much killing, he's going to mistake Jake for heathens. You know, but he's going to be doing a lot of killing. And if you caught out there uh, uh, being uh, like, 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 what is it, Zazu, you're going to be okay. You're going to be a fucking uh, what you deserve. All right. If I may add to the point, uh, you know, like, like Earl was going into very different events leading up to him. Hey, the ministry of the prophets itself. Because a hey, scripture say uh, the prophets that are before me, before thee of old, prophesied both against many kingdoms of wars, evils, mm-hmm. and pestilence. So we understand that Yahweh Bashim Yashai before the fall of a great kingdom, he sends forth his prophets mm-hmm. right now after the ministry, ministry of the prophet closes up. And that's when all hell is going to break loose. Because how do we know that? If we go to Revelation 7 chapter, uh, the Lord told the angel to hold back uh, the winds all right, until the servant be sealed. So we understand once the elect is sealed, ultimately that's when all hell gonna break loose. But that's when once the Lord takes me off the streets, a hey, apparition is gonna pop up, man. Martial law gonna pop up, man. All these various different evils and you know, plagues that Yahweh Bashmiyah is bringing upon the earth, man. You know, hey, spirits of vengeance, man. These different you know wild beasts and whatnot. You know, hey, wisdom of Solomon speaks upon the uh, newly created beasts. And it shows you that. And it shows you that in the movie. Uh, uh, the world left behind, mm-hmm. yeah. which, I, which I didn't, I didn't get it until I actually watched it the second time. So I actually like, uh, like scopeled it until yeah. I actually really looked at it. But the deer, because deer are really frightful creatures. But the deer was like had a spirit, like yeah, we ain't scared no more. Like yeah. you know, hey, you know, yeah. we see the world's coming into, we ain't scared. You know, yeah. and when I read into the scriptures, uh, the scripture says the Lord shall uh, uh, basically put 
the, mm-hmm. uh, the, the dogs to tear, the beat mm-hmm. falls in the air, mm-hmm. and beasts, to, you know, they, the Lord's gonna put a spirit on you, and then like raccoon, like animals that so so called fearful, and they gonna have a spirit like, listen, I'm not scared of y'all no more. Right. It's, it's me, you know. Right. I, 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 I love. I'm like, damn, they even put that in the movie. Like, but right. I said, like, damn, I ain't noticed it. The first time watching, I'm like, damn, why, what's up with the deer? Why they look like they got a dead yeah. or something? Right. Yeah. But when I realized, like, damn, right. like they was basically showing the humans, like, mm-hmm. you know, we came together and we not scared, like, we know right. shit. Now that I'm fucking territory now, you know. Right. The, the deer actually took on took on the uh, the, the tributes of like a of, of like a, of a lion. A predator. A predator. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they, they, they ran into a pack and they hit an alpha as well. Yep, yep, yep. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So really, really, they took on the nature of wolves. Wolves. That's right. Because yeah, wolves. sometimes wolves emerge and become a super pack. Too. Yeah, 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 they be yeah, like yeah. deer and yeah, get together. You know, yeah, it'll be an alpha. There's always an alpha that leads the pack. I got one real quick. I just wanted to bring out another dish as part of that dictionary. This is one that I found. I found the you yeah, to back you up. Uh, this was um, also in the process. It was like a, a natural phenomenon marked mm-hmm. by gradual changes mm-hmm. that lead toward a particular result. Right. And we know that, that the Lord, you know, everything he deals with is through nature. And when the brother brought out the prophets coming out, you know, that was something that's natural yep. and is a phenomenon. And when I looked at phenomenon, it says an observable fact or event. And we know that the word, the Lord's word is the true, and every man a liar. <coughs> so just, just to back you up, like these different things that are happening, those that are asleep, they can't see that you got men out here teaching. The scriptures talk about that before, you know, before uh, destruction happens or a certain thing come, he sent forth his men. That's right. uh, when his men go out to speak, then all these things start to happen. Uh, you know, you see birds, you know, birds right. dropping out. We, we're talking about the animals. Yeah. So I just wanted to, you know, just back you up. Yeah, the chariots, they call them. Uh, uh, they're real phenomenal. Uh, uh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Because you know what? Yahweh Shai did say that this gospel shall be preached across the whole earth. Yep. Then yep. shall the end yep. come. That's right. You know? That's right. That's good. That sounds good. You might have something else? Yeah, quick one. Quick second. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, because the elder uh, made a good point. He said, you want to give him the Lord's good sign, right? So just, just a quick one. Uh, Luke 12 and 43. But this is Yahweh Shah's dead lover. It says, Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, uh, shall find so doing. Doing what? The, this work, man. You want to continue to do this work all the way to the very end, man. That's why the scripture say what? Saying that, uh, you know, and during to the end, the same shall be saved, but for paraphrasing, man. All right, so, hey, you, you don't want to give up and take your hand off the plow, man. You want to be found, what, doing this work still, man. Right. Still believing in y'all about shit outside, man. Precept, you know? precept. So, because, you know, when you go to Ezekiel, the third chapter, if you put down the plow, man, and the scripture says, when a righteous man turns away from his righteousness and does mm-hmm. iniquity, all his righteousness that he has done shall be forgotten. That's so, right. When the Lord appears, you can't last minute. Oh, oh Lord, I was on Fifty uh, Fifth Street about uh, five years ago, uh, preaching against Esau King. Fifty Fifth Street. The Lord gonna be like, the Lord gonna be like, what, what, what were you doing for the past five years? Right. What are you doing now? Yep. You know. That's right. So you don't want to be in a position where all your works, you know, the Lord is completely. I never knew you, nigga. Yep. I'm sorry. He said that. It made me think about all the people that talk about their own demon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, hey, hey, every, every man's going to get the counsel for it. Exactly. Yeah, the, job, yeah. the, job is, the job is commission based. You don't uh, get paid until the job finishes. Right. But if you uh, if you finish halfway, first you don't waste your time. You, know. you don't waste it, the, 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 the forming time. Yep. You, know, you know what I mean? You don't uh, get paid until the job is done. Uh, and the work got to be to the specifications, too. Yeah. Are you gonna yeah. say something? Yeah, I just wanted to add that's why it's important to pray that the Lord keep that spirit on you. Mm-hmm. You know, to, that's uh, right. To, to just stay diligent. Yeah, that's right. What you're doing, you have to reserve. Yep. Back up. Oh, that's a good point. Because it's, it's not only. Oh, sorry. 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 Go ahead, though. I was gonna say, when you take that spirit, you're basically taking that drive. That's right. right. You know, and you'll, you'll basically start to fall because you don't have a drive for it no more. Mm-hmm. That's what I was gonna say. Mm-hmm. And it, like Kai made a good point, uh, you know, like I said, not only doing the job, but the quality of work, too. I said, you can't, you got, you got other Israelites out here, you know, trying to profess the name of the Lord, but they're doing things to their own belly. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So they still ain't going to get paid for the job. You know what I'm saying? You know, mm-hmm. that, that's the analogy. All right? Because they, what, not doing it correctly. You know? He said, yeah, 
say, Lord, Lord. You're right. You never lose it. Yeah, and that's to your point. You talk about jobs. Every job has a scope. That's right. Okay. Everything is outlined on how you're supposed to do it, how you're supposed to accomplish it. Yep. You know, when, when you don't do that, you know, it's just wasting your time. Yep. You know, and, and uh, you know, the, the boss, uh, in this case, the how about you now? So it's not going to get paid to be up front. Right. All right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So what he words you for business. That's right. That's right. That's something. Yeah. Yeah, he don't, want, he don't want the raggedy grapes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when it ain't no more, you fucking might eat one of them. Like, yeah, he was like, I'm just going to get my shots on him. Yeah. 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 18 and 20, before judgment, examine thyself, and in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. Mm-hmm. Right. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta examine yourself, you know, to see whether, you know, if you're, you know, uh, doing the will of the Lord, all right? right? You know, to see if you, you know, you gotta make sure you're on top of yourself, all right? Because you, you could be, you could think that you're doing, you know, something right, or, you know, following Yahweh Bashim Yahweh uh, the right way, but you know you're going off, you know, with your your daily activities. Mm-hmm. All right, that's why I said before judgment. Examine thyself. So examine the things that you're doing in your daily lives, how you're treating others. Mm-hmm. All right, if you're doing your videos, all right, things of that nature. All right. So it says. Also, not only you examine yourself, which is before judgment, which also says we could be around our own eyes. Sorry. Right. All right. Because we we're not all perfect. You didn't cast out judgment. Um, you still got that beam in your eye. You still got the correction that you need to do. Do the things you need to correct in your lifestyle. Right? Uh, Jay, Jay quick to point out somebody else's flaws, but hard to see their own. So, that's right. You know? Yeah, the beam is a log. Yeah. And the moat is a little twig. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you worried about the little twig that this brother got. The whole time, you got a whole tree going up. <laughs> and that goddamn yeah. wood release coming out there. Right. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Right. Yeah. But you got no mercy for this brother. You tell this brother the whole um, time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? That goes to that. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Yeah
you know, uh, ha ha having mercy on our, on our brothers, you know, who, who, who may have uh, fallen, you know, and, and doing it with, in meekness. All right. And he says, uh, uh, and then uh, another commandment was doing our due diligence, what we're talking about, to make the calling of our election sure, right. according to the scriptures. All right. It says, and, and you shall feel no evil thing. All right. So when, when you're doing those things, keeping those uh, commandments, you know, I just named a few, you know, the Lord's going to come to you. All right. Yeah, he called when you do those commandments, he calls you his servant. Mm -hmm. You know, Isaiah 65, I think verse 13 and 14. He's letting you know he's going to cover you. You know, when, when other people are hungry, you're going to eat. When they're that. thirsty, oh, you're going to drink. Let's see. Hey, that's, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is the book of Isaiah 65, verse 13. Therefore said Yahweh, Bashimi Abashai, Behold, my servant shall eat, but he shall be hungry. Mm -hmm. Behold, my servant shall drink, but he shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but he shall be ashamed. Ah, so that's the thing. When that judgment starts to come, and you've been doing what you're supposed to do, you know, the Lord's going to take care of you. All right? And it says, uh, and a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. Mm -hmm. That's that's where we're at right now. Because you are you, you know you're doing those things, the scriptures say, uh, blessed is he that readeth. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that word blessed means fortunate. Mm -hmm. Okay, and because you know you, you, you you've been reading these things, <clears throat> you're fortunate to know, you know, the things that are happening, you know, especially under our leadership. Mm -hmm. You know, the leadership that we have, you know, this constant uh breakdowns, you know, letting us know what these things mean. And we're, uh, in turn, going out there and letting the people know that, that they come by and see us. Okay, letting them know what the time is. You know, and that goes back to the opening scripture. It's high time to wake out of sleep. All right? And we got to discern that judgment. We know that that judgment is here. You know, you got World War III uh, 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 brewing. Okay? Um, what we didn't mention earlier you're starting to see uh, an uptick on the proposed draconian laws that, that's coming. Mm -hmm. All right? Especially if you're right. Yeah. To be honest, bro, we already have going on. Yes. Um, I just saw an article that was saying that, that China has infiltrated America in every sector. Yeah. They have put, they got, they got uh, sales in every sector of mm -hmm. America, financial, uh, government, like every sector they have, they have set up sales around to bring the government down. Yeah. What's we already done. And we're going to make, make it even plainer. They put it right in front of your face when those uh, military aged men were coming up here during the summer. You know, that was the, uh, was, I think it's called Obert, is what it's out with. Yeah, uh, Obert. They, yeah, Colbert. 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 They, they, yeah. 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 they put it in your face when they opened up the Chinese police station in New York. Yeah. Right. Yep. Come on, bro. And these, these men that can run some miles. Yeah. yeah. These men that's in shape. <laughs> so you. American, you so-called Americans that ain't that's out of shape. First of all, mm -hmm. first and foremost, that ain't covered right. under 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 the Most High and the Son. Mm -hmm. But on on top of that, you, you out of shape, you, you, you unhealthy. Yeah. And you gonna stand a chance against <laughs> these people, man. Depending on fast food. Yeah, and, you know. Oh, they, they just they just lowered the restrictions on physical fitness. Yeah, just they like, have to. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you know what? Because uh, if y'all know that little uh, whistleblower dude, go by the name of Steve Rim, he was doing a video pretty much talking about when they're trying to bring the draft back. Yep. And they wanted to bring Gen Z or call it Gen Z to war, which is you know, young men mm -hmm. uh, in between the ages of 18 and 25. And they was talking about the fitness standard, right? And he said the minimum amount of push ups you got to do, like straight 17. He said most of Gen Z can't even do that. No. Oh, like se so. 17. Yeah. And here it is, here it is, America's military. They they allowing you know the, the, the lig bit community, you know weak ass niggas man. But you got you know Russia, China, look Russia man. They they start their kids off young, training them little niggas in the snow and shit man. Yep. But America letting rainbow people in the military yep. just shows that America America not on no level man. Yep. It's not just it's not just um we saw training their kids man. Now you see you see you see you see an Israelite young lady. She twerking her ass and singing songs. Mm -hmm. All right, but you see an Edomite right girl, her daddy got on a shoe, she on a range. Mm -hmm. She learned how to, she learned how to uh, uh, scare deer. She learned how to hunt. Mm -hmm. What they teach you about uh, uh, some sexy red shit. 
Right. That, that's what a lot of people stuck on, man. You nah. so stuck in the world. Man. <coughs> you being like that, you're going to be more and more, man. I don't know. Like, yeah, I'm no, I'm just saying, I'm just back on that. And uh, Esau is on that spirit. They know that their time is short. Yeah. Okay. And they're going to eventually get in that. You got that movie Civil War getting ready to come out. Yeah. Okay. They're in that mindset. If we going, we taking you with us. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Just um, just a quick one. It's the book of um, Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 4. It says, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth. So that's just what we we're, were just uh, bringing out. You know, it's like, yeah, it may sound like, you know, the prophets, you know, uh, doomsday prophets, you right. know, kill joy. Right. But the thing is, the truth is, it's like we we see the collapse of this nation. We sure. see the things that are happening. We see death that's coming because you how Bashi Shai is showing it to us. Right. He's opened our eyes. He's given us a blessing to see that. But those that are uh, in mirth, you know, in the house of mirth, they're fools because they're not seeing the destruction that will come. They are actually in that sleep state that the scripture brought out in Revelation. I mean, not Revelation, Romans 13 and 11. So um, so everybody's thinking about, like I said, partying and bullshit. They're still talking about, um, you know, the, the trip they're going to take. Um, in the next few months, right. you know, and yet not understanding that there's an economic collapse that's coming. There are, there are, um, again, people are sick and dying from, you know, the things that they took two, three years ago. The potion. You know, yeah. The potion. That's right. And so, um, so the men of the Lord, we're just, we're anticipation and waiting. We're watching, you mm-hmm. know, seeing these things come to pass. That's right. Precepts. Um, uh, Florida precepts. Run. That was you too? Mm-hmm. I got it too. You got something too? Oh, you got hands up on child care. Okay. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 21 and verse 9. It says, <clears throat> Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter, it is furbished that it may glitter. Shall we then make mirth? I can tell the ride of my son at every tree, and that goes back to you know what you brought up in Ecclesiastes 7 that the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning because also we're not in the time of mirth anymore. Because mirth goes into like a state of joy, a state of happiness, so on and so forth. But also we, we understand, of course, the prophecy, you know, second Ezra, the eighth chapter, where the Lord is being great misery upon uh, the earth in these last times because the joy of the Lord has walked with great pride there. Mm-hmm. You know, so ultimately it's not a time to be. Happy, go lucky spirit, you know. Now, there's nothing wrong with you know putting on a funny movie and laughing and shit, you know. But like just being that you know joyful spirit, you know, 100% of the time, acting like nothing gonna happen, that's right. what you know is going off. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Kind of verse 11, it says, And he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer, you know, the sword, you know, beginning with Esau, even the so-called white man, you know, Psalm 17, 13, uh, Arise, O Lord, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is that sword. Okay, and also the ultimate sword that the Lord is going to use to be instructed is what? Those nukes, which ultimately Yahweh Bashem Yashai are had these other nations, you know, uh, getting up or, or gaining military, you know, uh, capacity or equipment in order to, like, pretty much more nukes in order for this prophecy to come to pass, which we understand the spirit of the Lord is going to control those missiles. He's so Austin, like, like going back to what the brother Shaki brought on in 2 Peter 3, knowing all these things must come to pass for one man or a person to you to be. Because you don't want to be left behind, you know, and, and, and caught burning up by the missile, you know, or shot down by a laser from that chariot, man. You know, so Austin, hey, it's because see that, that joyful spirit on a lot of Israelites, like, man, and, and that joyful spirit is going to get a lot of Israelites killed because they're not, they not measuring the time diligently. And they worried about going to the club, you know, twerking, you know, quote unquote, look up coach, you know, all, all these things in the world, man. Right. So right. not knowing that the end of the world is knocking on their doorstep. That's right. And that's it. Yeah. Uh, it's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, and verse 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart mm-hmm. and that's right man and you see the majority of these people all right all right this world man all right they're all in the uh, uh in, in the house of uh of feasting man you know they when it comes to like uh, a real 
uh, detrimental situations like war, famine, okay? You know, serious situations, you know, nuclear war, all right, uh, uh, that's getting ready to uh, uh, happen, all right? They, these people, they don't care. You know, they they, they want to be, they want to uh, uh, be blue, blue pill. They, they want to take the blue pill every day. They want to use these, these uh, uh, pleasures, okay, that this world has to offer to, to keep them in that, in, in that state of, of, uh, of sleep, mm-hmm. okay, because they don't, uh, uh, these people, they, they, they won't know uh, uh, where, where, to, uh, where to run to, all right, if, if, if the Lord not dealing with them, all right, especially, you know, and, and, and this is talking about you, uh, 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 you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, mm-hmm. all right, you know, that, that, that don't have Yahweh Bashim Yashah, okay, you know, and the ones that, that the Lord is dealing with, all right, the, the wise, all right, they're, they're in the house of war because they understand that there's nothing to be to be happy about, all right, here on this side, man. Well, all these things, just like how uh, 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 the scriptures I was brought out, all right, uh, uh, in Second Peter, what what manner of person are you to be in, in, in these uh, all long con? Yep. You know, we, a, a, we're not supposed to be conducting ourselves, all right, uh, uh, like these people in this world, man. That's right. Yep. All right. <clears throat> you're not conform to this world. Right. What are they about to celebrate Christmas? You know, mm-hmm. it's all that that la 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 spirit. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, more. No, sorry. It says sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better. And that's right, man. You know, eh, these a eh, eh, these people in this world, man, they don't. Uh, uh, they, they don't know what's getting ready to, to, to happen, man. All right, with these prophecies that's getting ready to pop off, okay? That's why we have to, what? We, we have to uh, arm ourselves, our spiritually, all right, with knowledge <coughs> and understanding, man. All right, that's going to harden our, our minds, man. All right, when we read about all the all the things that our righteous forefathers all right, have went through, all right, the tough positions that they've been put into, man, they had to a, 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 a depend on Yahweh Bashi Nashai, man. All right, completely, man. All right? Um, yep. That's right. And, and amen. Hey, hey, because the, hey, these people that, that are in this, you know, uh, mirthful spirit, all right, they're not thinking that no, no, no real event is going to happen, like war, like troops invading, all right, uh, famine, all right, uh, uh, nuclear uh, uh, attacks, okay? Uh, pestilences, man. All right? They're, they're not, they're not going to... Uh, it's, 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 it's going to be terrible uh, uh, for them, man. All right, they're, they're, they're going to be like in the middle of the with the, uh, the, the Pacific Ocean with a huge tidal wave just hitting them, man. All right, but the elect, man, a hey, the elect, they're they're going to be a a in that 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 that, that tumultuous storm in the in, in the in, in the in, in the ocean. All right, but but they're going to have faith in Yahweh by Shine man. All right, they're going to be in the eye of the storm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The most that's the most calm part. Yeah, I mean, it's that turmoil right. all around them, mm-hmm. but you know yeah, they yeah. they gonna be protected from. That's right. Uh, that's right. Okay. This is back to twenty four, thirty seven. For as the day that were before the blood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in in marriage, until the day go into into the ark. And that's what's going on now, man. Party of DS. You know, just basically back to what the mother was saying, you know, you can't got paying attention to what's going on on the earth, all right? That was going to destroy, man, all right? Hey, no one preached, what, 150 years? 120 years, man. He was out there preaching, you know, on the high, on this bad ways and bad ways, telling you what's to come. And nobody wanted to believe. And then what? When they got into that bone of that rain crop, all reality said in now, you know. <laughs> Right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, uh, this is uh, thirty-nine. It knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. And that's how it's gonna be, man. All right. That's why I said the Lord's gonna come as a thief in the night, man. All right. Because you're gonna want to pay attention. Y'all think that you know you got men that's out there uh, shower curtain. Just, just, just teaching all type of madness and crazy things. Hey, but hey, these words are faithful and true, man. And, and these prophecies are going to happen. 
no matter whether you believe it or not. They're going to happen. All right? You're going to be destroyed. All right? And that's pretty much plain and simple, man. The, the Lord, the Lord is not going to be, he's going to come back and be, uh, we say it all the time, fairy tales, the, the church giving, oh, it's going to be going to fly and fly and You know, no. The Lord is a man of war. All right? He said, I'm not coming to bring uh, peace, but I come to bring a sword. Right. Hey, man, hey. You know, the guys have time for the hope of elect to wake up out of sleep because our salvation is very good. Right. All right. With that, we hope this lesson was edifying for the body. Once again, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to our apostles and those of great millstones in your well for teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth. It'd be like to the speckled bird, also known as your Israelite foreigners, and your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. To you, we say Shalom. 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 Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. All right, Shalom to you, sincere brothers and sisters on the continent. Shalom. Shalom.